Hi! In today's magic episode I've got something really magic. Can you see this beautiful adapter? It looks dope, isn't it? That shape! <laughs> but actually, thanks to this thing we can cool down motor in our Xiaomi while we are riding. This is quite important if you've got pro version with unlocked full speed, so 32 km per hour, and even if you added some extra power. You can notice that after a couple minutes of using it on full throttle, the motor is starting to be so hot that you are not able to touch it, and as you know, the only thing which is killing the motor in your scooter or actually brushless motor is the temperature. And thanks to this tiny thing, you can seriously extend lifespan of your motor. A couple days ago I did long range ride, it was like 35 kilometers, outside temperature is like 32 degrees, my weight around 100 kilograms, I pushed in closer to the limit of course, and when I back to home I noticed that the temperature of the motor was more than 65 degrees, so this is way too hot. Today I will show you how to mount this adapter and we'll check if the temperature will drop. When I arrived to the spot the temperature of the motor was like 55 degrees, after 60 seconds of using this adapter, temperature dropped to 45 degrees, so I am super happy, as you can imagine. And there is, of course, one small con. It's quite dangerous to use this adapter. To place it on the side of the wall, you have to use some double tape, especially 3M, only this brand, because from my experience, I know that if you will stick something to 3M, gluing tape, there is no way that this thing will pop out from this tape, it will just stay for ages. I used it 3M double tape for many years and I never had a problem, that's why I decided to place this adapter on this 3M tape and we will see if it will pop out. Of course, if it will pop out then the wheel can stag or something like this. So, be careful if you will use this adapter, I didn't test it, I will test it today and if, it, if I will survive, let's say, two weeks, then it's good to use. Chuck Norris is recommended, but let me show you how to mount it. Before we mount adapter, we have to clean up the rim. To do it, I'm using bandage, don't ask. And we have to especially clean up this red ring over here and somewhere over here, because at that spot we will mount this adapter. There is many different ways to stick this adapter to a rim, but from my experience, I know that 3M double tape will do the job, especially gonna win one. I know that if something will stick to this tape, then it will be quite hard to remove it. And that's why I decided to use this 3M double tape. It looks like this. So you have to place this double tape on these walls. And it should look like this. Of course, this is actually quite dangerous to use this adapter because it's just stick it by double tape to a rim. And if it will pop out, then something gonna break, especially this adapter. Well, it could pop out like this, but I check it and the pressure should be super low and this thing should never pop out, but like I said, use it at own, your own risk. And also you can add some glue. In the future I will try to make other adapters with some fans or other ones, but I think this one, for now, seems to be the best, but how it will work, we will see. So, I've got three, as you can see over here, and I will place it like this. So, one over here, one over here, and one over here. Ow, the rim is still super hot. Now we can place this adapter. this. It looks actually nice, isn't it? <laughs> Hell yeah! Now push it hard. Cool! Three more to go. Two more to go, not three. And we've got third one. Nice! Now we should leave it for like 10 minutes or even more, more is better. And I place it on the rim which is still warm or even hot because I can barely touch it, which is also great because it will increase the thickness of the glue on free end tape. So yeah, it's much better idea to place this adapter when you are using double tape on hot rim. And check this one out, it's like no way that it will pop out, like honestly. 
it looks insane, isn't it? God damn. I always wanted to build something like this. First time when I received simple M365 and I modded the firmware, I noticed that the motor been so hot that I could barely touch it. But in pro version, if you will increase the power a little bit and increase the end speed, then motor could really fry, like honestly. Last time when I did some ride, the motor been over 65 degrees, so way too hot. And I hope that thanks to thanks to this adapter, motor will survive much longer, especially if you've got modded firmware. Well, is it dangerous to use? I could say that it could be, because as you can see, this plastic thing is close to the edge. But this is my first project. In next ones, I will do it a little bit safer. So in next project, you will go the fan over here and you will have to remove this side piece of the plastic, place this new cooling system, use some screws and it will be much safer to use. But yeah, I always wanted to build something like this. Nice, let's test it. Let's take off. Let's check this one out, it's working. Unbelievable. It looks sick. I can feel the air. Actually, this hot air. So it looks like it's really working. It passed like 10 minutes, let's check if I will be able to remove this adapter. I think that, like, no way. No. So yeah, get no win, free air, double tape. <laughs> no way, I will not remove it. So for now I would say that it's safe to use. The pressure is not that huge to make this adapter pop out, so it should stay over here for ages. Well, I'm just curious how I will remove it. Ow. Yeah, no way. Oh, shit, I broke it. So, yeah, I had to do this test and I have to say that this 3M double tape for now, it's worth to use and hopefully I will not crash because this thing should not pop out. But will it? Let's test it off-road and on-road, of course. <laughs> Lots of sand. No problem for pro version. Check this one out. Whoa, there was some rock. Now you will see how the adapter is working. It looks insane, isn't it? You can see the road is off-road and there is lots of sand on it. You can hear actually that the wheel is doing burnout, it's losing the traction. I've got extra 5% added to my firmware, so I can literally feel that it's a little bit more punchy than before. You can find my firmware in the description. Some glass on the ground, but I don't give a damn because I've got this anti-slip CST with anti-puncture tape. <laughs> nice.
Okay, now let's check the temperature. It was quite hard off-road ride. Of course, with some on-road. And we've got still under 50 degrees. Can you see it, bros? It's like impossible. Are you serious? No freaking way. So for now, I recommend this adapter. But like I said, use it at your own risk. It's working, bros. It's alive. I am super happy. Pizza for me. I have to buy pizza today. Let's check the other side. Other side we got still under 50 degrees actually. No surprise because this is whole rim is fully molded. So if the temperature will drop on the right side, then also on the left side. And of course, use only this adapter on the right side. So, if you like this episode, hit like button, subscribe. See you in the next one. And of course, in the description, you can find link where you can download project to the file to print it for free.